Okay, here's a tutorial to show you how to use the uh, the course calendar that we've got installed on the SWQ training website. And uh, here it is. Currently, we don't have any events in there, but we do have these two categories. And these are test categories that I've put in there, and I'll show you how to add new categories and new events. So first, you have to log into the back end of the website, which you already know how to do. Okay, we go up here under components and it's called J events, this component. So if you go into components, click on J events. And it brings you to this control panel for the events calendar. Um, first of all, what you'll have to do is go to manage categories. and set up all the categories that you want. These will be categories that you that will define your search parameters. So you can see I've got cat1 and cat2 set up. So to create a new one it's as simple as clicking new and giving it a name. So I'd advise to go in here and um, create all your categories first before creating uh, training events. So let's call this one dogging and rigging. Now that's all you really need to do. Give it a name and also give it a color so that uh, any events under this category will show up in that specific color. So we will give it a green color. And I'll click save and close. Now if we click the view site link to open up the front end and we'll go on, you can see we've got our new category showing up down here. Now you can actually search the category by clicking down here or you can use the select course category up here and you'll see that it appears there as well. So the next thing to do is to create an event and the event will be the course. So click on manage events from the back end, from the J events component, and create a new event. And this is where you put the details in. Pretty straightforward. So we give it the subject is the name, and we'll call it uh, dogging one. Have to select the category. We're putting it in the dogging and rigging category. You can put in information here. Um, contact, contact details you can put in here if you want. Then uh, back to the top under the calendar tab. This is where we set the, the date and time. So we'll make it for tomorrow. We'll make it 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. We'll make it an all day. Well, let's change that to 3 p.m. No repeat. Save and close. And you'll see it's showing up here in the events page with its appropriate color. So we'll go back to the course calendar, hit refresh on the page, and we'll see our event here. And if you hover over there, you can get some extra information, or you can click on it, and it will bring you up to a page. Now to show you how, to, how the search feature works, we'll create another event and we'll put it under a different category. We'll call this one rigging one and we'll put this in category two. Put in some dummy information there. Over to calendar. We will put this on Wednesday. 
8 a.m. till 3 p.m. Save and close. And now back in our manage events page, you can see we've got the two events now. Back over to the calendar, hit refresh. And you'll see that both items are showing up on our calendar. But if we want to sort um, by specific categories, we can use either this, select category two, and it's only showing up things in category two. Or we can go to dogging and rigging, and it's only showing up things in the dogging and rigging category. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, what you can do if you want to delete something, just the check marks, you can click that one up there to select all and then trash. Or you can unpublish if you want to keep that information there, um, but you just want to unpublish it and possibly go back and change it later. Go into the categories again, and I'm just going to delete these categories as well. So you can create your own categories and there we have it.